my name is Tammy Tudrin, and I am an adjunct professor um, in the field of early childhood education. I teach at Asnantuck Community College in Enfield, Connecticut, and I have been teaching there for close to 20 years now, if not over. Uh, so it's been a long time. I'm also an alumni. From, I also teach at Bay Path University, and um, I teach Intro to Early Childhood Education. I teach my favorite course, Creative Experiences for Young Children. Um, and at Nantuck, I also teach a new course called Behavior Guidance, uh, which is a fully online course. Um, so I teach you know, a lot of different things in the field of early childhood. I'm also a former preschool teacher myself. Um, so many years ago, uh, I also taught, um, back in the day, Bay Path University used to be Bay Path College, and they had a preschool on campus. Um, so I was one of the lead teachers there. So really my goal for my workshop for Building Bridges is we are gonna talk about STEAM, which brings in uh, science, technology, engineering, arts, um, and math. And I tend to think sometimes we think of STEM or STEAM, we think of older children. Mm -hmm. um, but for and those of us in the field of early childhood, STEAM is perfect because young children, they learn through hands-on experiences. They need to explore, they need to problem solve. So if you can try to bring in all kinds of STEAM type activities into your classroom, um, children are really gonna gain the most benefit from those types of experiences. Um, I also wanted to introduce, besides ideas for bringing more STEAM into an early childhood classroom, the idea of tinkering. Um, and what does that mean in the field of early childhood? How can you do this? Um, another thing that is not in the title, but I'm going to talk about in my workshop is also this idea of creating, along the same lines, creating a maker's space in your classroom. Um, so again, I often see this in, in older grades, um, but it's something that's totally doable in an early childhood classroom. Absolutely. Um, there, they're relatively the same. Um, it's kind of just two different words for basically the same thing. The idea of tinkering, and one thing that I'm going to introduce in my workshop is one way that you can do this with young children is a simple way is creating tinkering buckets. And so basically tinkering is just playing and exploring different materials. Think of it as uh, the junk drawer in your home. <laughs> so pulling out a junk drawer and making things. Um, it's such a wonderful way to encourage problem solving with young children, open-ended activities of, wow, hmm, I have a box of popsicle sticks and straws and string. What can I do with this? And the idea of a maker space takes the tinkering bucket in, onto a little bit of a larger scale. So this might be a designated area in your classroom. Could be a table, a corner space where you have, again, a variety of materials out for children to create with, explore with. I really would love my participants to walk away from, in particular, my workshop, understanding that they need to allow children time and space um, and materials to explore. Um, we need to understand that we as adults don't need to control every little uh, our activity and project that they make. We don't need to necessarily tell them step by step. This is how you glue it on. This is how you do things. Um, mm -hmm. So I really want my participants to come away from this workshop understanding that you can let go. <laughs> you can stand back and you can let your children explore. Even three-year-olds, four-year-olds, five-year-olds can make and create these fantastic, phenomenal you know, experiences and projects on their own if we act as a guide. And so that's one thing that I would like them to learn is how do you become the guide um, and not necessarily hijack their work from them. Part of what I've included in my title for my workshop also is creative environments, creative children, creative teachers. And I do really think that for us to be able to guide children with creativity and exploring, we need to get in touch with our own creativity as adults and to come away from the workshop with a greater sense of understanding what children really need in the classroom and how teachers can bring that into a creative, creative environment um, and just help guide children's creativity. 